control, where you, where you use the word must. Um, governors, uh, northern governors, um, southern governors uh, are elected politicians. They, they know a lot better and they should operate at a higher level. You, you quoted uh, Professor Angu Abdullahi's comment in 1998. Professor Angu Abdullahi uh, leads a social cultural group which uh, can offer an opinion um, that differs substantially from the position of governors. Governors cannot afford the luxury of making statements that are quite, quite honestly dangerous to, uh, for, the democracy, for the democracy of the country. If he says uh, Northern Elders Forum supports the Northern Presidency, compare that with 17 governors, members of APC and PDP, who know that they have to work this process through their parties, and they know how they were elected. They know the values and the sanctity of the democratic process. They know what these values of equity, peace, and justice and, uh, mean. Uh, it's a completely different uh, setting. So I, I would advise you not to go there. Uh, people have used this uh, argument that Professor Angu Abdullahi said in 1998, and they're not comparing it to, to the governors. No one is asking southern governors to go cup in hand to beg the northern voter. That nobody is saying that, and we are not opposed to uh, a southern uh, a southern candidate. Now there are two zones that have not produced a democratically elected president. Two zones out of the six zones, and one of them, incidentally, is the North Central Zone. They have as much right as anybody else to demand that, uh, or to make the case for a president to come from the North Central Zone. Why don't you hear that? Now, when the 17 governors got together and said, bring it to the south, they forgot the middle belt. You never saw uh, Governor Autumn, for instance, uh, standing there with them, or the governor of Plateau State, or a representative of the middle belt forum. When it is convenient, they divide the country into two, north and south. When it's convenient, they say, oh, there are three Nigerias. There is the north, there is the middle belt, and the south-south. This kind of divisive politics is not helping this country. The president that will emerge from in 2023 must be a Nigerian president. That's our position. It is very dangerous to ethnicize and regionalize this. If we can have a president from the southern part of the country that will be truly a Nigerian president, that will represent the south, the middle belt, or the, uh, the, uh, the north, or, or whatever, every citizen of this country, equally and faithfully, and do the opposite of what President Buhari appears to have done, that is to, to, to cause a problem for our diversity, alienate huge groups of people from the many parts of the country, divide the country. What we need is a unifying president, a president that will treat this country as one constituency, treat everybody alike, run an inclusive government. That's what we're looking for. The kind of politics going on now is going to end up polarizing the country even more. When you begin to draw lines and say, oh, we must come from here, if you come from there, it's our turn, it's our turn, this kind of thing uh, uh, is, is very dangerous. And then the, the final point, what happens if there is a northern president in 2023? Democratically elected, freely elected, in, the, in, the, in, in an election that is credible, free and fair. What happens to this? Are, are other sections of Nigeria, particularly the South, going to say, no, we reject this election result because it's from the South? Isn't that very dangerous? The, po the solution is simple. Go through the electoral process, go through the political process, work, you, work your way through and convince every Nigerian who has a vote that the candidate who comes from the South should be voted for, not just because he comes from the South, but because he's the best. And we're looking for the best. In 2023, Nigerians must produce leaders, not just the president, governors, legislators, that are that are very, very different from the current crop of leaders that we have. This current crop of leaders have run this country aground. What we're looking for are leaders who will raise this country, rebuild Nigeria, rebuild the faith of uh, young people in the future of this country, begin, to process, begin the process of uh, um, a political engineering that brings uh, the Southwest and the Southeast and the South-South together. That's what we're looking for. Not a regional leader, not an ethnic